Leviticus is the third book of the law, following Exodus and preceding Numbers. The original Hebrew title derives from the first word translated, and he called. The title Leviticus is from the Latin Vulgate version of the Greek Subtuagent, which means matters of the Levites. Leviticus, the 25th chapter, verses 32 and 33. Moses is unhesitantly the attributed author of the book of Leviticus. The concluding verse of the book bears evidence in the 27th chapter and the 24th verse. These are the commandments which the Lord commanded Moses for the children of Israel on Mount Sinai. Some components of Exodus to Numbers as well as Leviticus point to the unity of the Pentateuch. These books are unified by the theme of the law. The laws constituted in these books are intended to promote holiness and obedience to God and they are an expression of God's love for his people. The basic structure of Leviticus, laws on sacrifices and the priesthood, ordination and ministry of the priests, laws on purity, and God's requirements for holiness. The book of Leviticus provides instructions for the priests and their duties, and it provides a manual of regulations enabling a holy God to dwell among his people. Leviticus explains how Israel is to be a holy people and to worship Jehovah Yahweh in a holy manner. Holiness in this sense means to be separated from and set apart exclusively to Jehovah Yahweh for his purpose and for his glory. The book of Leviticus provides detailed instructions for the sacrificial system of the Israelites. The book commences with regulations for Israel's sacrificial system. The various types of sacrifices and offerings includes burnt offerings, grain offerings, peace offerings, sin offerings, and guilt offerings. The sacrificial system was also a way for the Israelites to show their devotion to Jehovah Yahweh to seek forgiveness for their sins. The theology of Leviticus is made up of many prescriptions and rules which reflect a unique theology. This theology may be examined under the various captions of sacrifices and offerings, cleanness and uncleanness, and holy living. The book of Leviticus has several principles that Christians can model, some of which are, it teaches Christians about the holiness and splendor of God, or the rules, regulations, prescriptions, and sacrifices are meant to translate the most realistic form what it is at stake to be as holy as Yahweh Jehovah. It reminds believers of the magnitude of their sins. The book of Leviticus helps us to see the extravagance of God's grace and the cost of humanity's sin. It is a reminder for Christians that even when they deserved sin and death, from the very beginning, God constantly made a way for them to experience life to the fullest, 
even if it meant the shedding of another's blood, first that of innocent lambs, and later the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus Christ.